Welcome to ISL Enabled Virtual Lab of CSIR. Dear students, welcome to CSIR Virtual Laboratory video demonstration on water for greener fuel. This video is presented by Electrochemical Process Engineering Division, CSIR Sikri, Karikudi. For the electrolysis experiment, we employ platinum wire as anode, platinum foil as cathode and one molar sulfuric acid as the electrolyte. The platinum metal is chosen due to its excellent electrocatalytic activity as well as its stability in both acidic and alkaline conditions. The electrodes are kept 2 cm apart from each other and immersed in the electrolyte. The sulfuric acid serves as an electrolyte due to its high ionic conductivity and thermal stability. The electrodes are externally connected to the DC power supply. We are going to demonstrate the principle of water splitting into hydrogen and oxygen gas in a basic electrochemical cell. Now we are going to perform the electrolysis at various cell voltages and record the current. When the voltage is set at 1 volt, there is zero current flowing into the reactor. Now, let us try with the theoretical value of 1.23 volt at which water splitting reaction occurs. So, at this condition, there is no change observed in the electrochemical cell. As we slowly rise the cell voltage to 1.5 volt, the current is still recorded as, as zero, yet we can see minute bubble formation on the electrode surface. When the cell voltage is rise to 1.75 volt, still there is no change in the value of current, but we can spot larger bubble formation both in size and number on the electrode surface. Now let us set the cell voltage to 2 volt. The current is recorded as 0.13 ampere. Here we can view the hydrogen evolution at the platinum foil on the cathode side and oxygen evolution at the platinum wire on the anode side. As we vary the cell voltage from 2.25 to 3 volt, we can notice both increasing current and increase in evolution rate of hydrogen and oxygen gases. There is a progressive increase in current to 0.34 ampere when the cell voltage is adjusted to 2.25 volt. As we rise the cell voltage to 2.5 volt, the current is recorded as 0.77 ampere. When the cell voltage is rise to 2.75 volt, 1.25 ampere current is noted. Finally, when the cell voltage is rise to 3 volt, the deno uh, reading denoted as uh, 1.75 ampere current. We can also observe the rapid increase in gas formation as the cell voltage is increased. At 3 volt, there is a possibility of ozone formation at the anode. Through this simple experiment, we have observed the current voltage characteristics and the results are shown in this graph. We can apply this fundamental principle for the construction of proton exchange membrane based hydrogen generator. In the next set of experiments, we are going to demonstrate the generation of hydrogen and oxygen gas through proton exchange membrane based water electrolyzer. At first, we see here a single cell PEM electrolyzer configuration with inbuilt membrane electrode assembly, flow field, current collector, N plates assembled together to make a single cell. Here, the DNS water of resistivity 18 mega ohm is supplied from the water tank to the anode side flow channels of the electrolyzer. The electrolyzer is externally connected to the DC power supply. The water splitting reaction occurs and the hydrogen and oxygen gases are produced. The single cells are assembled in series to make a cell stack for the production of high volume of hydrogen and oxygen gases. So, what we see here is a PEM hydrogen generator developed at CSAR Sikri. This compact hydrogen generation unit consists of electrolyzer stack, piston pump, water supply provision, gas scrubber, DC rectifier and electronic control panels. Deionized water is pumped from to the anode side of the electrolyzer stack. As soon as the voltage of 2.5 volt is applied, the water splitting reaction occurs at the anode and produces oxygen and protons. These protons are transported across the solid polymer membrane from the anode to the cathode side and produce hydrogen gas at the cathode side. The produced hydrogen and oxygen gases are passed through the scrubbers to absorb the residual moisture 
and pure gases are collected for various industrial application. And also at the outlets we can see the bubbling of hydrogen and oxygen gases. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you very much.